It's something that impacts us every day. Knowing the weather is critical when it comes to getting to work, deciding what to wear, or planning a trip. And the largest weather and climate sensor network is headquartered here in Montgomery County. Earth Networks is the brainchild of Bob Marshall. Housed in Germantown, his company is known primarily for its weather bug service. We have our electronics lab and things like that. And its weather stations at parks, sports stadiums, and schools. The first one was installed at Jones Lane Elementary in Darnstown in 1992. We were working on the technology in late 1992 and you know we were looking for schools to beta test our, our technology so you know we went over to Jones Lane Elementary School and said look we want to give you a weather station we'll give you this first one and show you how it works and help train you and hopefully get some good feedback from you on how it's useful in the classroom and that's what we did uh, so Jones Lane Elementary School it was the very first weather station and uh, it's still operating today. Marshall graduated from the University of Maryland with a degree in mechanical engineering. So this is the anemometer uh, so this measures uh, wind speed here. He will tell you he's a data guy. He loves to collect it and find a signal within the noise. It's really all about the data they collect. If you collect good data and, and can collect it efficiently, then you can do a lot with it. His company has taken the business of the weather by storm. There are more than 10,000 weather stations across the globe, and there are more than 20 million users of the WeatherBug app kind of a viral crowdsource kind of thing. So once one school joins the network, there's other schools that see them on TV, they see it on the mobile application now, and they want to get their school in the application. And uh, so, you know, that's how it's grown. And, and today the, the businesses, you know, we still do a lot with schools, but it's more now about customers that are buying the data and the products that we produce from the data from the entire network. In addition to its weather reporting systems, some of the weather stations have lightning sensors that detect cloud to ground strikes and in cloud lightning strikes within a 10 mile radius. It's a technology that's saving lives around the globe. You hear a lot about tornadoes and hurricanes and things, but day in and day out, lightning is one of the, the toughest situations for weather in terms of safety. We actually integrated the lightning sensor right into the weather station and now, you know, it's the largest global lightning detection network and the best technology in the world. One of those clients is the Soccerplex in Germantown. There are more than 700,000 people who visit this facility on an annual basis. When the lightning detection horn sounds, players and parents must leave the field and seek shelter in their cars until they get the all clear. As I was here for a Maryland State Cup tournament several years ago and a thunderstorm came up and you could see it in the distance but I noticed nobody was moving. You could hear the thunder but everybody was staying where they were so we ran around, my staff and I, trying to get people to go into their cars to safety and we would run off to fields and say to referees you need to stop the games and then we contacted Weatherbug and said we need you to help us we need a system that can warn people so that we can keep them safe and so what we find is with the culture of communicating that when that horn sounds everything stops and it's not just here in the United States where this technology has come in handy Earth Networks has installed weather stations in some third world countries where weather data is hard to come by. Many areas of the world they have nothing, so we're able to go in and deploy a lightning detection network and take that data and produce storm warnings now for the people in, say, Guinea, West Africa, that are as good as what we have here in Montgomery County. There are about 180 employees at the Germantown headquarters. So we're going up to the roof of your building in Germantown. He says headquartering his company in Montgomery Montgomery County was an easy decision. This is a technology corridor. Okay, what do we have out here? Yes, wow. we have all of our sensors out here. They're going to actually up, be up and behind us, I think, up there. We gotta... So we're a technology company. We have to have access to the brightest and best talent out there to help us, you know, develop new technology and get it deployed and, and make exciting products that are going to create benefit. And that's why Montgomery County is so important. 
Weatherbug is staffed 24-7 by a team of meteorologists, including John Bateman. Here is uh, one of the cameras that we have at Nationals Park. So 79.7 degrees. Uh, these are all the current conditions. This is the forecast down here. And customers like the National Football League and Major League Baseball and Major League Soccer, they're all customers because weather is so impactful for them. So we actually put weather stations at the Major League Baseball stadiums. As everyone always says that, hey, you know, the the weather forecast and the temperature is taken at the airport, but nobody lives at the airport. What's it doing in my neighborhood? And this way we can go right down into people's neighborhoods right here in D.C. Collect all that data. Lightning's obviously critical for their safety and everything else. So, yeah, they're great high-profile uh, customers, and uh, it's a lot of fun. We, we name our conference rooms uh, after big weather events, and uh, so actually this is apropos because it, it is an El Nino year this year. So. But Bob Marshall's endeavors at Earth Networks don't stop with the weather. When he was researching new things, things the company could leverage, he discovered a void in the area of environmental intelligence. I was amazed to find out there was only a couple dozen places on the planet that measure greenhouse gases. But all the scientists agreed that we need more data to better understand climate. So we uh, committed and made a big investment to uh, uh, deploy the largest greenhouse gas network in the world, and we have that up and operating today as well. No matter the season, you want to be comfortable, so your house needs to compensate for the elements. Another recent venture for the company, Weatherbug Home, which was launched just over two years ago. Marshall says he developed the technology with the knowledge that 50 percent of a home's energy use is driven by the weather. What we do is take the weather data from all the weather stations right in your neighborhood and now you have a Nest thermostat or a Honeywell thermostat that's connected. It's connected to the internet. So now we can take these data from inside your home, outside your home, marry the two together and put together some real intelligence on how your home can be more efficient. So we can give you guidance, we can automatically program your thermostat to save energy, and of course everybody's for saving energy. It's money, it's climate, it's everything. We compare our weather data with your energy use to assess and analyze your home's efficiency each season. It's the next logical step for Marshall's company. It's a move that advances Weatherbug forward in the growing Internet of Things business arena one data sensor at a time. Well, you got all the toys and bells and whistles that you need to do it, right? That's, yeah, that's it's amazing. all about big data these days. Yeah. We connect sensors all around the planet. A lot of jobs are going to be around. What can we do with all the data coming off of these sensors connected to the Internet? And that's what we're trying to do.